Yes, sir. Tell me, um, tell me about your service. About my service? Yeah. You want the one minute summary or the half hour speech? The one minute summary. <laughs> okay. okay. Into the Army in September of 1942. I wanted to serve as a tail gunner. I cycled with me. Second choice was control tower operator, which they now call air traffic controller. I made that. Training at Case for Field Mississippi, Scott Air Force Base, in the Belleville, Illinois. Overseas, somebody helped me Castle Blanca. Served as control tower operator in Italy and Austria. In Italy at Naples, later in Venice, Austria and Vienna. Back to this country from Vienna. Right here. December of 45. Discharge. He's my 60 I'm seconds off. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's good. That's great, Howard. I tried. So, so did, you, did you ever get to be a tail gunner? You got it. Did you ever get to be a tail gunner? I used to show up. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, you got it. You have 20, 20 eyes. I got it. Oh. Yeah, all of the air crews had to have 20, 20 eyesight. But you see, tail gunner would have been perfect. It's just cramped. It's a little bit. Yeah. They need little guys for that. If I'd been a tail gunner operating out of England over Germany, I might not be here now. No, you probably wouldn't be here. Big losses. Big losses. Yeah, big losses. So what do you, you think about today's ceremony? Oh, wonderful. Very, very moving. Very moving. It's important about the war birds. They didn't show up the airplanes. Yeah, yeah, the ceremony. Thinking about the people sitting out there in the hot sun. How old are you now? One, or two. Huh? How old are you now? What, you were a birthday. I was, but I forget what. how old you were. You're more than 100. Huh? 100. Oh, you're, okay, you're 100. I thought you were like 103. <laughs> no. Well, some people mistake me for 110. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, to be in World War II. Now, now you've got to be 97 years old or over. Yeah. That's there aren't many, there aren't many, there aren't many, there aren't many, many of you guys. 1945 was a long time ago. Yeah. Right. There, aren't, there aren't many of you guys left. Yeah, what? There aren't many of you guys left. No, I guess that. Well, let's get it. So, what's the what's the one what's the one story you have from World War II that's that your phone? favorite? Yes. Oh, that's right. It's the best. It's Naples, it can be replaced. Italy, Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii. Remember the last days of Pompeii? Yeah. Seventy nine A.D. I saw Vesuvius erupting. And the battle. Vesuvius erupted. It was late in 43. I was on duty at night in the control tower. There were two of us off in the distance. Vesuvius is about 25 miles. We saw a big red, a big red glow, a red glow in the sky. I think I got the ones that didn't have It is a faintest idea what it was. There's a fire somewhere. And a few hours later, we got the word that was Vesuvius in eruption. We had an air base at the base of Vesuvius. And all, those, all those hot rocks and lava knocked out about a dozen of our B-25. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but I saw Mount Vesuvius. That would be the outstanding moment. <laughs> a lot of quite a few adventures. Uh, hey, Gary. I was in an air raid, and when I heard the sirens, I was one of the first for the foxholes. Uh, and we saw that this was, I was in Corsica at the time uh, on a visit, on a visit in Corsica. We saw the spot, I saw a couple of German planes up there, German planes in the spot. They did do some bombing, but uh, minimum damage, minimum damage. What's your plan for the day? So that was it. It was a highlight also, the air raid. Well, yeah, and also at Venice, Italy, the, Italy, the canals, the gondolas, that big St. Mark's Square with all the pigeons. Yeah. That was very impressive. Yeah. That's a big memory. And yeah. Venice, now, by the way, in the canals, they were throwing the garbage of the raw sewage into the canals. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's very scenic, very scenic.